I figured it out. I think I figured it out. Hello everyone. Hey. Hola, hey -o. Okay, it's working. Yes. Having a beautiful dinner here with Maggie. Say hello, Maggie. I think there's a delay, but oh well. Lacey barked back at Maggie. Awesome. Raising blueberries. You changed your name on, uh, or it's different than on Instagram. I'm having dinner, carving up for my big day tomorrow. Maggie and I are going very far. Mm. Tengo tienes preguntas para mí? I'm in questions on my trip. How are you? I'm doing great, you know. Here in Mexico, <laughs> loving life. Great food, it's so cheap here. Tomorrow's a big ride. A little bit nervous about it because supposedly there's like one road that I think I can go on, but I did some research and I said maybe it's a toll road and it's a big day. But I'm going to leave by like 6 a.m. I'm going to wake up at like 4 tomorrow. Am I going to Woodstock? No, I'm not going this year. I'm staying in Central and South America. Um... So what happened when you tried to cross the border with Maggie? Nothing. They didn't even ask for paperwork. I had all this information of vaccines and all this shit. They didn't even look at her. They didn't ask anything. It was so sketchy and funny. How are the papayas? All right. I mean, I'm not like deep into um, Mexico, so it's not like I'm in that tropical setting yet. It's still pretty cold out, but it was good. The mangoes were amazing. How many miles are you riding? Tomorrow I'm riding 100 kilometers, which is like, what? You ride more than that all the time on your bike tours. Not not pulling 150 pounds with Maggie. I've never ridden that much with Maggie, so it's going to be intense. Literally look at her right now. It's hilarious. Thanks. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, girl? What are you doing, baby? I'm just hanging out, half on the couch, half not on the couch. All right. Do your thing. You do you. Como es la vida en Mexico? Es muy bien. Es muy, muy divertido. Muchos perros y frutas. Movement project. Good seeing you. You make everything look tasty. Plants are tasty. I just cook them and then throw some nutritional yeast and hot sauce on it. Uh, como uh, quinoa, autos, camote, broccoli, saboya, chile, lechuga. It's cute when dogs sit their butts on the couch in their front and piles on the floor, yeah. So you ever try to make a video on everything you bought on your trip? If not, I'd better run it. Yeah, I should do that. I should probably do that. I don't know where the time goes, you know? One of those things. Do you manage to move around well with the Spanish, you know? Oh, yeah. Easy. I, yeah. And I'll get better and better as the weeks go on, of course. 
does Maggie like riding a trailer now? Yeah, she doesn't complain. Like already a weekend and she's like amazing. She doesn't cry. It's insane. Hi from Berkeley, yo. Do you manage, oh. How fluent are you? Not fluent at all. I just know conversational Spanish and some words, food and stuff. That might be my host, let me see. Nope, not my host, but I'm gonna go get some more food, one sec. Maggie, will you do the live stream? Sorry guys, I'm just putting my food together. Doing the best I can here. I will answer all your questions when I get back from throwing nutritional yeast on my potatoes and quinoa. And that hot sauce. Un momento. Necesito más lechuga. I wonder how many people are leaving right now, but don't worry, it'll be about 30 more seconds. Or less. Five, four, three, two. One! Woohoo! I'm back! Not many people left. Cool. Um. Yeah, a bunch of people watching a couch. Cool. When I come back to Berkeley, hopefully not for a very long time, because I'm on my trip. So hopefully not for a couple of years. A few years. We have to go to a surf punk show. What is a surf punk show? That's crazy. Do you think 9-11 was an inside job? Nope. I don't. Totally ran impression. Do you listen to Alicia Keys? Nope. Maybe I should. Oh yeah, she's lost a lot of weight. Maggie's lost about 15 pounds, maybe even more at this point. I should weigh her again. You're my lean green machine, Maggie. How's the weed in Mexico? I don't know, I haven't gotten any. What's on your salad? It's just lettuce and cucumber and carrot. I just bought a few things today real quick. But tomorrow, I'm biking to Ensenada, where I'm going to get where I have an Airbnb. Actually, with my friend Andrew, my vegan friend Andrew from LA is driving down, and we're going to be there the next ten days. So we'll do a lot of like filming our food and making good stuff. <clears throat> would you? What would you do in a zombie apocalypse? I don't even know the answer. Ah. Surf punk is a genre of music. It's a wild sounding genre. I'll have to check it out. I need more hot sauce. You know, Maggie? I'm big into this hot sauce. Hot sauce. Hey, 
And I actually got a blog clip of this. Setting up the vlog cam. Oh, Gerardo, my host, guys, is so freaking cool. I love him. I don't even want to leave Tijuana. It's great, but I set up an Airbnb. So we must go. I love this. I love learning Spanish with you. Thanks. Oh, this is Nona. Nona es la fera de Gerardo. Hello, Nona. Hola, Nona. No, Maggie. No, no, I have to eat. I'm sorry. Maggie, no. Oh my god, this is like dog struggles right now. I'm just trying to eat. Leave me alone, dogs. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, Nona. Do you go live often? I feel like I used to... I don't go live often, but I'll try. How are you not more sunburned? You're in the sun all day, every day? I mean, I have sunscreen. I put it on sometimes, usually only once a day. I feel like I got a tiny bit burned. Not burned, I just feel the sun on my face from like two days ago drive. Oh, Elle's in the house, what's up Elle? Do I know the YouTubers Eamon and Beck? The millennial, no I don't, minimal millennials. Wow. Vegan van lifer, minimalist millennials, I should definitely hang out with them. Iman and Beck. I'll look them up. Oh, yeah. So, the spending money on lodging thing. Yes. No, it's not that I changed my mind. I always knew I was going to do this. I didn't pay to sleep once from Alaska all the way to here. But I always knew I wanted to rent my own places when I got to Mexico. It's just so much different. I'm renting a place here for $10 a night because I'm splitting it with my friends. $20 a night, so we're each paying $10 a night. It's very different than spending $60 for a motel or $100 for a motel for one night in the middle of, like, Canada. Is 5'10 and 125 pounds not healthy? Maybe because I eat too much whole foods and not enough calories. I don't know because I'm not 5'10". I'm 6'2". Sounds pretty light. You'll know in your heart if you're too light. If you're hungry all the time, if you're anxious, if you don't have a sex drive, if you restrict your food, if your friends and family are commenting that you're too light, then yes, you're too light. Is it because you only eat whole foods? Probably. Throw in more avocado, throw in more nut butters, throw in a vegan cookie or a brownie once in a while. Make it to Sayulita if you can. Where is that, El? <coughs> Who's there, Maggie? It's okay. Let's see if Gerardo's here. Nope, we're okay. No problem, okay, Maggie. No, no. Okay, no, no. I'm putting you on your bed. No. Tierra del Fuego or Bust. Okay. Um, but the bark. Yeah, Maggie's bark is so loud. Epic. Who's your favorite Nintendo character? I could I could lie and tell you it's like Squirtle or I know Squirtle. No, is that even no, that's not Nintendo, that's Pokemon. That's a great example of how little I know about that shit. When I was growing up, my parents didn't uh let us play video games in the house. We didn't have any game consoles. 
so I never got into video games. Instead, I played outside, I played hockey, I rode my bike, and I hung out with animals. So I actually appreciate my parents doing that. Yeah, L, I'll be there. I'll probably go. It'll just take me a while because I travel nice and slowly. Pokemon is still Nintendo. See, I have no idea like what that even means. So, sorry. I don't have a favorite character, because I don't know. I don't know. Squirtle, Charizard, Pikachu. Here's a fun fact. Pikachu was modeled after a pika, which is a small... It looks like a mix between a rabbit and a rat. It's a rodent that lives at very high elevations in scree fields, which are like above tree line at like 11 or 12,000 feet. And they live in like rock mountains and they chirp really cute. That's what Pikachu is after. Blink-182 is one of my favorite bands growing up. I don't listen to them that much anymore, but I have the feeling this an Enema of the State album on my phone, download it, and I listen to it while I ride. I love Blue Grenade, too. Yeah, you're very hip. Vegan Mama. Mmm. 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 So good. Um, how about Dude Ranch? Dude Ranch is great too. Great album. How come the thumbnail comes up as such a shitty thing? How do I change the thumbnail? Ah, whatever, I'm over it. Over it. What are your other favorite bands? Right now, I'm listening to, um, let's see. I like Action Bronson. He's a rapper. I think is funny and good. Um, I listen to Knock On Medicine for the People. I listen to the Velvet Underground. I listen to a small band called Three Four Silver, like three T H R E and F O R Silver. Go listen to them. They're a small band out of Portland, Oregon. I listen to Animal Collective, Billy Bragg, Wilco, Broken Social Scene, Chad Van Galen, The Decembrists. Uh, Dirty Projectors, Edward Sharp, Father John Misty, Flaming Lips, Fleet Foxes, Govindas and Radha, Grizzly Bear, Grum, Bieber, Krishna Das, Lord, Maggie Rogers, Mati Siahu, Miley Cyrus. Ooh, is my host home? No. I'm excited for Gerardo to come home to hang out. I've been chilling home all day. Uh, Rodrigo and Gabriela. Everyone. Go on to YouTube, search Rodrigo e Gabriela, and the first video that shows up has like over a million, maybe even three million views. It's like 45 minutes of them playing live. It is a spiritual experience. If you smoke weed, smoke some weed, and then listen to that. If you don't smoke weed, it's just as good. Unbelievable. Tyler, the creator, Trevor Hall, uh, uh, Yaima, Washed Out. Spiritualize the shins. That's the kind of shit I listen to these days. You got so hyped. That's me when I think Bay is home. <laughs> yeah. Listen to the mariachi music. It's just the neighbors. All right. You ready for this? Live stream of Maggie. As I go get a little more food again. Sorry. Stick with me, friends. My last round of food, I promise. Oh, now you left. Now they have nothing to look at, Max. Can't see your beautiful face anymore. Dun, 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 dun. 
Who's digging the first Tijuana blog? Did you guys like it? Let me know. Let me know your favorite cities in Mexico for me to hit up too. I don't think people left. Hey, Maggie, eating off my plate like a savage. Like a savage. Maggie is better than Jaggy. What? Okay. Am I Jaggy? Jackson and Maggie shirts. I still have shirts that I made like years ago that you guys haven't bought. Do not tell me to make more freaking shirts when I only make like 50 or 100 of my shirts when I design something and I still have so many of them. Not hating, a lot of you have bought shirts and I appreciate you, but I can't make more shirts when there's like 100 shirts at my parents' house just sitting there. Um, yeah. That's a great couch. It's all right. Love your vlog. Appreciate it. The band you mentioned is Rodrigo and Gabriela. See, si. and this is habanero hot sauce. That's really dang. You're just being nice and patient seeing my face. You're here to see Maggie. Okay. You want me to turn the camera? You can watch her chew her toy. You would love Mirable Sibia. Okay. Do carbs make you fat? Nope. The higher carb and lower fat diet you eat, the thinner you'll probably be. That's the experience of me and many, many people. Yes, it's true. Only people who talk shit haven't been there. It's very true. And even the people who have been to Mexico I've talked to who had some issues say that it just so happened to be there and they were there for a long time. It could have happened anywhere else and most of the time it's fine. Yeah, I feel you, Jade, that it made you nervous when I had to go on the highway. But yeah, I really know how to manage danger. I would never do something that's like too dangerous where I think we'd get hurt. We'd never do it. All right. What's up with the machine guns in Mexico? Should they ban all guns in Mexico? I think guns should be pretty much banned for civilian use. I don't know what the laws are here. So Maggie doesn't like jump in the trailer. I have to physically pick her up and put her in the trailer, but then she doesn't cry afterwards. Once she's in it. Tienes, tienen más preguntas, fam?
eventually she will go on it. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the the improvement she made this week, in like a month or two, she'll tell me when she wants to go on it. I ain't going to Reno. I just left America. I ain't coming back. Yeah, I'll do vlogs on all the fruits. Don't worry. That was obvious. You all go listen to the Patriotic Podcast yet with Brian Turner? How do you like it? Let me know. Go listen on iTunes or Patriotic.com. Do you have a host for every place in Mexico already? No, I literally only have a host right now. And then I have an Airbnb that I get into tomorrow for the next 10 days. I have zero else planned. Are you going to try a man mangonada in Mexico? What is that? You all know Jackson ain't ever coming back, right? Exactly. Oreo knows, knows what's up. I, I ain't coming back. Once I get to Argentina, Maggie and I will fly to India and do India for like five years. Do a podcast with vegan games and I'll watch it. <laughs> I would. I actually would. I'll contact him tonight. India, yes. Oh, I can't wait to go to India. Oh my god. Alright, final questions, my friends. I have to close it down soon because I have to go to bed early tonight. I'm waking up probably at like 5 a.m. tomorrow. Whatever happened to Izzy? Miss her? Izzy's doing her thing. She's not vegan anymore. She's in college. I saw her like two months ago, maybe three months ago. When I passed through Berkeley, she doing fine. How do I afford to travel so much? <laughs> if you can tell, I travel on my bicycle, and it's free. There's no gas money. If you also watch my vlogs, you'll know I haven't paid to sleep once in the last six months. And I eat rice and beans. That's how I travel cheaply. <laughs> um... I make money from all of you guys, thankfully, who support me. I make about $200 a month on YouTube, which is all right. Um, but that doesn't get me that far. The real way that I can travel is for the people who support me on Patreon. So I have a web, there's a website called Patreon. Go to patreon.com slash plantriotic. It's in every link and every vlog of mine. <coughs> that was a week for, but there'll be more coming. And uh, on Patreon, you just pledge a dollar, two dollars, three dollars a month, which hopefully isn't that much for 30 vlogs a month. Um, and that's how I support myself to travel. So right now, I think I'm up to like $750. I want to try to make $2,000 a month, so like $24,000 a year. That would get Maggie and I so comfortably by traveling. And the cool thing is, with everyone that watches my videos, if everyone pitched in a dollar or two per month on Patreon, you get more videos that I post on there, and it allows us to keep traveling. Oh, I think my host is here. Nope, that was just me tripping. <sighs> Can I send you Bitcoin? Ooh, is that possible? I do have Bitcoin. I have a Coinbase account. I'm going to donate soon. Thank you, Chair. I appreciate it. Are you going to get Maggie a souvenir in Mexico? Uh, look, once this toy is completely dead, I'll get her another toy. Take the bit. Yeah, I, I love Bitcoin. Are you planning on coming to Brazil? Yes, absolutely. But probably not for like, I don't know, two years. It's so cute. You're like a dog when in companion gets home. Let's do it. I'll have to know my country better as well. Let's see. Okay, I hate to do this, guys. I love you, but I have to go because I need to edit one more vlog and do a few things and go to bed early. So I love you guys. Thank you for watching. It means the world to me. Um, I'm ch these vlogs are just going to be epic. I don't know what else to say. Tomorrow's gonna be so epic, a huge day.
um, when did you start being so mindful and insightful? No, I wasn't like this as a child. Um, I mean, I was always a little sensitive. I always liked art more than like sports and connected to women always more than like dudes that were just being stupid and aggressive and stuff. Uh, Jade and Jet, shout out. You're great dogs. I love you. Um, but I really started to get into like spirituality and mindfulness and thinking about the environment and stuff when I was uh, 18. All right, peace, you guys. Uh, more vlogs coming soon. Uh, hope to see you on Patreon. Let me know if you are a patron, uh, more videos you want me to make. So I post videos on my Patreon page just like with my iPhone getting deep into things that I can't address on YouTube. So if you're on Patreon, give me some more ideas for videos to make. I love you guys. Maggie loves you too. Night, Maggie. Say goodnight to everybody. Look at how pretty you are. You're my pretty girl. You're the prettiest girl in the world. All right, much love, everyone. Dream extreme. Enjoy the vloggage.